Hey, so we are at the UVC Hackathon and we have made an automatic plant watering robot uh, that's web enabled. So we can type in a certain number of seconds to water a robot and we can fire that off and hit water and it waters. We don't have the pipe hooked up. Anyway, we have it disassembled for the moment. We have some cases for our sensors that will go in the soil. We have a solar panel for it to run autonomously outdoors. We have wireless internet. We have Wi-Fi hooked up so your plant can be on Wi-Fi. And we have this delicious website here. What have we got here? Ethnorobotonics. <laughs> Ethnorobotonics. And so this has data logging. It has data logging of temperatures, uh, ambient light, humidity. And we're able to look at our own garden here. Um, so these are charts of uh, data logged, data logged from the, the sensors in the plant. And so you can be wherever you are online checking in on the uh, on the state of your plants if you're a professional gardener if you're a farmer if you're in agriculture or if you just want to go on vacation and don't want to water your plants you can do that online in fact just like we did with the phone there you can enter in a number of seconds to water your plant instantaneously uh, one time if you just want to give them a boost. But also we have this nifty little thing here where you have a humidity trigger. So if this soil humidity drops below a certain threshold that you have predetermined here, you can set that trigger and the, the robotanist will water your plant autonomously whenever it dries out. And we have a few other fun tidbits on the uh, website here. Also, we have um, we have a few plugins where we can we can match up with uh, we can hook into social networks, um, possible small marketplaces for selling. I don't know. We've got an Oregon grape plant here, so if you make Oregon grape jelly, you'd be able to uh, to team up and uh, sell your products on your own website. Uh, you can compare notes and, and aggregate data with other people that are growing similar things in the same region. And I don't know, maybe somebody's growing apples and they're able to, uh, to talk about what they're growing in their garden. And if you want some apples, you can get them from them. Anyway, lots of potential with an online plant. There we go. Thank you very much.